Welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming. Today we are going after the task clearing all fronts. Uh, so we gotta haul this fuel trailer all the way over to the other side of the map. Basically on top of the uh, the mountain next to the uh, radio tower. So uh, I still don't know which path <laughs> I want to go. I think I think we're gonna have to go the long path and go all the way around. There's uh there's not a great path to follow. Uh we could try and just go straight up this cliff here. That would require that would require uh, you know what, let's try it. I, I kinda wanna require um I'm gonna, yeah, we're we're gonna do it. <laughs> it's probably dumb. It probably won't be possible, but we're gonna do it because that's uh, that's what we're here for. So, so we got this uh, service trailer as well, which I'm gonna have to go this way to get around. I'm hoping. That mod looks pretty gnarly, so uh, <laughs> it's nice and nice and deep. In fact, I was actually driving on the road today, and was in this uh, in a neighborhood where they have it all torn up. And my first thought was, "Yeah, just throw it in four wheel drive. You'll be fine." <laughs> and I too was hauling a trailer as well, but not uh, not a fuel trailer. Um, so what I need to do, there's not a good way to attach that trailer. Um, so we're going to detach. Come on. <clears throat> we're going to attach to this trailer and then we're going to winch the gas trailer, which is a little unfortunate because it's too far away to try to, uh, refuel off of so if we need to refuel we're gonna have to uh, swap the trailers out so uh, yeah unfortunately they didn't put a attachment point on the back of the uh, fuel trailer Ooh, let's let's back it up real quick. come on All right, that uh, was a horrible, horrible way to go, but yep, I, I figured one of the trailers was going to end up on its side. Oh, wait, and uh, yeah, <laughs> we all ended up on our sides. Um, cool. Yeah, that's um, that happened. All right, well, let's grab the tartan. The tat tartan. Anyways, I'm just going to call it the tuts. Uh, we got to go and do a rescue mission now. All right, you know what? Let's just point and shoot, get this thing out to the nearest road. And we'll just squeeze through everything. <clears throat> And as long as we, uh, as long as we avoid deep water, we should be fine. Uh, we need to go... You know, let's go out to this road. Yes, avoid deep water. Nope, it's left here. Oh man, um, yeah, so... I rolled it <laughs> within a couple minutes of starting the game, so... That's probably gonna tell you how well this episode's gonna go. But you know what, when things go wrong, I usually get better, uh... I usually get better views. And, uh, more thumbs up when, when things get screwed up. It seems, it seems like when I... When it's a nice, simple, everything goes planned kind of mission, 
Uh, yeah, I don't get very many views, so I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to kind of keep a running track on that just to see how accurate it is. But uh, yeah, it is, it, it's, it's just one of those things when I'm constantly screwing up and rolling over and getting stuck. I, it usually makes for better content, so I'm not uh, I'm not angry at all right now. I'm a little annoyed, but other than that, it's fine. Luckily, the uh, this vehicle is here now. I'm hoping I'm hoping that we can uh, get everything situated. I think the best thing to do is pull that. Best thing to do was attach the winch and leave it attached. No, stop moving on me. Yeah, come on, roll over. All right. First part of the mission's done. Uh, we should be. Good to attach here. I can. Come on. There we go. Oh. A little bit more. Stop the engine, change trucks. Fire this one back up. Alright, so do I really want to try to cut through here and, uh, yeah, we're, we're still going to do that. So we'll throw that there. Let's chain trucks. We're going to use the as off to pull the, uh, the fuel tanker. Okay. Guess we got to get a little closer. Why? Why do I keep doing that today? Like, ugh. It's so annoying. And we'll smack into that tree again. <laughs> this tree and me are becoming best friends. Alright, let's uh, detach. Well, actually, let's just change trucks because that's all we really have to do. All right, now we're back underway. So I'm taking uh, I'm taking this little shortcut here. I'm hoping, at least on the map, it looks like the train is uh, drivable. Again, our fuel tanker is on its side. And there we go. Yeah, does it does it want to stand up or does it just want to, you know, not do anything that I want it to do? Um, I think at this point we might uh, we might just drop off the service trailer, and then we'll uh, we'll only pull the fuel trailer. Because that thing just does not want to stay on stay on its wheels, so. I think we're going to we're gonna to have to uh, drop this service trailer off, and uh, right here looks like a good spot to do it. All right, we're gonna to have to upright the fuel tanker. It's a good thing these things are bulletproof. No, I didn't say that spot. There we go. No, 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 no. Okay, good. <laughs> um, now that's not the greatest spot to leave it, so let's... Let's just winch it in towards itself. 
And boom. Attach trailer. That was almost a perfect attachment. Alright, so... The way I'm reading this is that we can sneak through here and then come up here. Uh, so... We're gonna come around here, we're gonna do something like that, and then we're gonna uh, drive straight up the hill. Let's find out if this is even doable. Uh, so the fog is back, which is awesome. Um, well, there's nothing on that side of me to help. And somehow we just keep going around in circles. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you know what? This is, uh... This makes sense, right? Why would, why would there be any other way to do this? Alright, let's see if I can... Even if I have to roll this thing. You know what we can do? Let's just do it this way. Back it up. Alright, now that that problem is fixed, uh, let's go straight and do another problem. Like, just straight down the gullet. Come on. There we go. Get some tires on the ground. Alright, so this seems to be the best place to go up, which... Yep, I kind of concur. Oh, come on. I haven't even bothered to put this thing in low or low plus. Like, there's just, there's no point. I don't think there's a reason. Diff lock is, diff lock is always on, all wheel drive is always on. There's not really a point for the low plus. Uh, gearbox so but good news is we saved probably about two maybe three and a half seconds of having to drive around the map completely um, and these people aren't gonna be too thrilled with me let's uh, let's refuel now we can drop this off although I think this turns into a gas station now I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, yeah, it is. It is now a fuel station. So, um, it's a it's an awkward location for a fuel station, but we can fill up from here. So, all right, let's look around. Let's see what we got to do. We got to drop something off here, and we have to pick it up way over here. All right, well. Let's let's take the as off and let's uh, let's go do that. We're gonna hopefully get through all of the uh, the missions. Probably not this episode. Maybe next episode. I'm not even really sure how many are left. And in, in the rift, sounds like um, I don't know why they named it the rift. I can't 
Can't really figure that one out. It just seems kind of strange. I guess it's the um, kind of the fault line that's going to the uh, the map here, right there, and then you have the river there. I you know I don't know. Who knows? It uh, it's just it's not conventional to the other maps, right? Because the other ones, you know, you've got the quarry, the drowned lands, and Zimmergorsky or Zimmergorsk, and then the rift. <laughs> It's just, I don't know. It's, it's, it's strange. And, uh, yeah, I've, uh, I've been stuck. I've, I'm up to 235, uh, subscribers. And I haven't grown from there. I got to 236. And then the next day I went down to 235, and then I went back to 236, and then I went down to 235, and then I went back to 236. And I think it happened maybe three or four times, and I'm just like, what is going on? I don't know if it's the same person that is uh, subscribing, and then unsubscribing, and then resubscribing, and, and doing all those types of things, or what. But um, yeah, I'm kind of kind of in a slump right now, so... Um, my farming simulator isn't doing too great, although I don't care. That game, I'm just gonna, you know what, I enjoy playing it, and I'm gonna record it, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it online for people to watch if they want to watch it. Um, doesn't look like a lot of people do, but I get it, it's, you know what, it's the first, it's the first kind of couple days in farming simulator where I start off with nothing. So it takes a while before you, you get to build up and get decent equipment. Like right now I'm I'm literally feeding uh hay to sheep and cutting grass. Like that's that's what I gotta do because I have zero I have zero money. So And here's another fun uh question. When people talk about money do you say it's money and I have lots of money or do you say monies with an IES at the end? Uh, lost and found. Well, that's what I'm doing right now. So let's uh, let's go pick that up. But yeah, I just I find it funny when people say monies like, oh, I don't have enough monies. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Money is one of those money is like the word fish, right? You don't have fishes. You just, if it's one fish, you have a fish. If you have three fish, you have three fish. That's just what it is. And I feel like money is the same. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, because, yeah, it's it's just one of those things where I'm like, it bugs me. I don't know why it bugs me, but it does. And I would like to f figure out why certain things bug the hell out of me. Um, but I don't think, you know, I don't think that's ever, I'm, I'm ever going to figure that one out. Alright, here we go. So we've got the trailer. we got to get this curtain side. All the way back over to the other side of the map. And when it comes to this map, there... Wow, it's going to be difficult, because... You've got giant cracks and rifts and, and <laughs> I mean, I call this more of a fault line, but uh, yeah, you know what, we'll go with it. But uh, any shortcut is basically hampered by the fact that the terrain is pretty, pretty un, uh, uneven. All right, let's figure out. Let's see which is the best way to get there. Uh, definitely going right. We're gonna go right. We're gonna go down this road. We're gonna pass our service trailer, and then we're gonna take yeah. So we're gonna come here to there, and we get to follow that main road. So this should be a fairly straightforward mission. And speaking of missions. Oh, we actually have quite a bit left. We got, uh, 
total of five to do. So yeah, probably not getting all the way through. Um, if I get lucky, we can finish this one and then another one and then have three for the next episode. At least that's, you know, wishful thinking. All right, you know what? We haven't gone into first person view in a while, so let's, uh, oh, yeah. This map's fun. Hmm. Should I just do it? I don't think we can do it. Uh, can we get around that way? I haven't gone that way to see if we can get around. Um, let me, let me point more in that direction and, uh, yeah, we'll see if we can shimmy through here. Looks pretty steep. Uh, but, yeah, we're gonna go for it. Oh, a little bit of damage. Um, uh-oh. We, we may have screwed up. Um, this looks like there was a dam break <laughs> and it's washed away and eroded the entire road. But I do believe, uh, you know what? It's not, it's not the road we want, but it's close to the road we want. So. There we go. Hey, my quitch, quick winch actually uh, helped out. All right, so now, now we can just go straight. Oh, okay. Well, apparently the truck decided to shift gears there. Come on. Yeah, so uh, one thing I've noticed is the uh, the lack of snow. <laughs> um, again, the lack of snow in this game for a game called Snow Runner. You, you would honestly think there wouldn't be any mud in this game. That it would just take place in winter. Uh, which I'm kind of glad it doesn't because right now it's summer and... And yeah, well actually it's still technically late spring. Uh, but yeah, I, I... I tend to avoid this game in the... Uh, in the beginning of winter. Because it's just, it, it's too miserable between it being snowy outside and then coming in here and playing a game where you're in the cold and in the snow. So um, that probably won't happen this year because I'm still going to be playing this game uh, in the next six months. And yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a long... It's going to be a long process, but yeah, I'm not going to be able to take off. So hopefully, hopefully we'll be on a map where there is no snow. And if that's the case, then we should be fine. But if we're on a map where it's just nothing but snow, it's going to be a little, it's going to be a little uh, nerve wracking. So anyways, uh, so we got $2,850 for that, 320 experience. Uh, we have over half a million dollars, and um, I cannot remember the person who made the comment, but um, thank you for reminding me that I can sell the tires when I buy new things, but um, I'm not short money, so if if we end up having to buy two or three trucks at once and then we have no money, then obviously I'll, I will go back and start selling some things. Uh, but yeah, if, unfortunately, or I guess fortunately, depending on how you want to look at it, uh, we're not short money 
or cash. So um, there is really no need to sell the items after you upgrade them. So uh, what do I want to do? This is a con. We need. Yeah, you know what? I think we can. Uh, I think we can switch the tartan. It is basically. It is basically the exact same uh, distance away. What is this? Oh, that's a contest. I was like, what is? I, th I thought this was the. Uh, the uh, the box for the other mission that we just completed. But anyways, let's grab this. Let's. Uh, I guess do I want to go up there and cut through? I got. I got a pretty long ways to go, but I want. I gotta remember not to go in deep water. So yeah, let's let's cut through here like we did. And uh, yeah, we'll pop up probably on the other side of the mountain. Oh, we've got our floating car again. So it's a nice little upgrade location. And I got to remind myself, I got to keep looking out for upgrades because yeah, you need them in this game. Um, now the million dollar question is. Is there fuel over here? I'm going to say there isn't. Is that a trailer? Yeah, it's a flatbed trailer. Uh, there's a fuel tanker right there. Perfect. So let's just go for it. We're just going to cruise on through and we're going to rescue the con. I guess we're just restoring it, so... As long as I don't screw anything up too bad. Oh. As in driving through super deep water like I did when I first got this vehicle. Um, look at this. This is just completely... This does completely look like a, uh, a dam failed. And uh, shockingly... This mod is actually slowing down the con. Or, sorry, the con, geez. Uh, the cuts for 20. I, I still can't make up my mind on what I want to call this thing. Do I want to call it the APC? Do I want to call it the Tuts? Do I want to call it... I don't know. The alligator, the crocodile. It looks kind of like a crocodile. Man, this mud is, uh, this is pretty ex extreme. It's, it's moving, so that's, that's a great sign. But man, is this thing, uh, struggling to get through here. Which is funny, because my sidewalls are pretty, uh, pretty aggressive. Alright, let's just, let's winch ourselves out. I, I've had enough of this. <laughs> Come on, bite. Bite. Really? There we go. Uh, now I just want to go straight for it, but... Yeah, we gotta go... We gotta go this way. We're gonna... We're gonna avoid most of this mud here. Try to. Come on, get out of there. Thank you. Run over the sign. Nobody needs to know the sign. It's not even facing the right direction. Okay, so this is where we ate it last time. Um, let's see if we can sneak through here and try to go in the water where it's not so deep. Okay. I think we're good to go across here, yeah. That's perfect. And 
I'm gonna go this way. Oh no. <laughs> well, there's a nice screenshot if um, I use screenshots. I didn't realize there was a river here. It doesn't look that bad. So let's uh, let's back down real quick. We'll go this way. We should be able to cross here. Yep. Oh, come on. Get out of there. Apparently the air intake is right below the exhaust manu uh exhaust muffler. Uh, yeah, we, we gotta go around, don't we? Alright, let's follow the road. We gotta get fuel anyways. I'm, I'm really hoping that I have brought a vehicle with enough repair points. But now that I'm thinking about it... Oh, oh yeah, the, the flatbed. But now that I'm thinking about it, I, I uh, think we only have 150 points on this thing. Which is uh, clearly not going to be enough. But let's refuel. You know what? Push comes to shove, we will drag the con somewhere. <laughs> we will drag it somewhere to get repair points. And yeah, we're just gonna go between the pole and the, the cabin there. I have the dumbest feeling that I only have 150 repair points on this thing. Um, Alright, well let's uh, repair. Yeah, I do only have 150 points, so let's fix the de gas tank. Fix the engine. We'll fix that. We've got nothing else we can do. Uh, let's refuel. We'll just... Yeah, we're gonna fill it up that way. Thank you. So we are 180 short. So even if we uh, recovered this and then drove all the way back, we'd, we'd still be SOL. So uh, what do we got? We've got a repair trailer here. We've got a repair trailer there. Uh, we've got no other trailers, do we? Scrapyard, whatever the scrapyard is. I haven't even stopped to look at the scrapyard yet. Alright, well, you know what? I guess we're going to be dragging this through the mud. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll follow that trail down. So. Oops. Let's attach the winch. And yeah, we're uh, probably not even going to notice this uh, vehicle behind us. There we go. It's getting a little dark, isn't it? Ah, it's getting close. Getting close tonight. I don't even know where to go in this thing. This trail is, uh, is not very uh, used. Nobody's come down here in a, a couple of years. Oh, it's a good thing we picked the right vehicle to come down here because I think we can just go this way. Come on, gator. Uh, where's this road going? That goes way over there. 
Ah, uh, you know what? I missed that turn somewhere. Probably right there. Uh, you know what? That's okay. We are in this vehicle. We can go wherever we want. As long as it's not deep water. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're gonna pretend that's a road. Ooh, is that deep? Oh! Well, look at that. Look at what's sitting right there. I, I swear I didn't even do this on purpose. Uh oh. Come on, get the tires on the ground. Thank you. Let's just move you out of the way. How did that trailer get down there? How are you supposed to even get that trailer out? Well, you know what? Let's, um... Let's get this con out of my way. Let's see if we can yank it through this crack. If we can't, I think you need, like, a heavy crane to get this thing out. Nope. We'll just brute force it. Yeah, that's what we'll do. That's how you do snow runner. Um, now. <laughs> the issue with this is we don't we can't attach it to anything. So we need a truck here. And the only truck we have is way over there. So let's get moving. There's there's nothing we can do. We gotta go all the way over this way. We're just gonna bounce through all these trees. I can't even see right now. We're gonna, yep. Oh man. We're doing so well too. We're just gonna go straight through this giant puddle of water. Oh yeah, look at that. Not even that deep. It looks so much deeper than what it was. Uh, we gotta get on that road and then we gotta go that way. I really wish this game had a mini-map. I'm, I'm sure it's a mod, but I, I just wish it was built into the game. Because doing this all the time really uh, slows your progress down. <laughs> but I guess that's the name of the game, right? Like, you, you, you have to either plan out your path that you're going, or you just have to know where you're going. And if you don't, then it slows your, your game down. Oops. That's a pretty noise. Alright, we gotta go here. And, yeah. We gotta go off in that direction. It's only a quarter of a mile, so it shouldn't be... Shouldn't take too long. As long as everything goes smoothly. Which, this is no runner. It's, it's never gonna go smoothly. Oh, uh, let's stick to the road. Okay, good. I'm glad I did. Whee. Is it me or does this guy have three arms sometime? I swore it. He had three arms. Ooh. There we go. Now, can we just easily fit through here? 
little little damage. Um Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. This didn't take any time at all. Although that terrain through there is gonna be a little tough. Oh no, we're sinking. <laughs> We're slowly sinking. There we go. Come on. You can do it, truck. I know you can do it. It's a beauty. Alright, now. The trailer's there. There's too many vehicles here. Let's just ram our truck into a tree. And then we're gonna back it into a giant boulder. And then we're gonna plow a bunch of little ones over. Alright, there we go. Now we're ready. All right, so we're just gonna bang the Kong out of the way. Oh, well, that didn't work. So let's uh, let's just yank it out of the way. Did I leave that thing running? I hope I didn't. I did. Oh well, you know what? It, it idles pretty well. That didn't actually take that long. So we're going to... Oops. Patch winch. There. Should be able to attach it, and then we can repair, and repair suspension, repair the gearbox. Oh, now I have to deliver it to the station. Oh good. Goody. Uh, I guess I should have went in that direction. It's okay. It's okay. I know a shortcut. We can go up to the fuel station and get some gas. Yeah, we're, we're good. Um, yeah, so I guess what we'll do is we'll leave this truck here. Uh, stop engine. We'll change trucks to you. But now we gotta figure out... You know what? I am almost pointed in the right direction. I hope that's not deep. You know, if it is, we can yank it out with the as off. Um, let's skip to morning. We had a nice snap in the uh, APC. We'll attach the winch to there, and we will just go hog town into this water. Pay no attention to the fact that I'm high centered on something. Ooh, it's a little deep. Seriously? <laughs> what am I stuck on? Alright, I finally found the Achilles heel to this truck. I don't know what it is. But whatever it is, it's right there and it will not let me through. There we go. You know what? That should get us up and over. Maybe. 
Come on. Come on, there we go. Alright. It. Oh, yep, I was stuck again. These damn boulders. All right. No, I want that. There we go. Okay, come on. Seriously. Now we're moving. And now we're not moving. Come on. Get up and over this train. I'm not really sure why I went this way. <laughs> it seemed like the best option. Now, not so much. Come on. No. Get, 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 get up that. There you go. Hey, look, I don't even have to repair that. That's the great part. All right. All this just for some gas. Holy crap. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and refuel. There we go. Fill up the roof rack again. And we're good to go. Uh, yeah, we just go straight down to the left. We've got our own little trail here that we made coming up the mountain. So we'll follow that down. Think. Yeah, we'll we'll go off this direction though. This this seems a little bit easier and more direct. And we may. Yeah, we may have to wench ourselves off this first. There we go. So this this truck is not unstoppable it's not invincible but it is pretty good for certain things it's a great uh, Yankum vehicle oh I was like why am I going so slow it's because I'm still in low minus uh, yeah, let's go. We'll go this way and then we'll hang a left. Somewhere here. There it is, right there. Look at how early I took that turn and I still have to back up. There we go, look at that. Well, this should be pretty simple to come up and over. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Come on, seriously.
I can't get up that. Come on. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Just gotta wiggle it a little bit. Isn't that a song? I feel like that's a song. Okay, and that will just get yanked up. No issues there. Let's get this scout trailer out of our way. And, uh, yeah. I've got so many stupid trailers around. Oh, that was 5,050 bucks. That's not too bad. Um, let's see. Now what do we got? Oh, we got to restore another vehicle. Again, I don't have enough... I don't have enough points in this vehicle to repair it, so... Where is this vehicle? Seriously? It's way over here? Oh, it's this one. Okay, cool. Uh, well... The Azov is right there with a repair trailer. So, uh... Yeah. Let's just take it up the hill. Why not? I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to go with this truck. It looks like you can just go up that way. Or no, you know what? Let's just keep going to the left. We've got a snorkel on this thing. Fighting me a little bit, but it's doing it. Come on, at least get me, at least get me to it. I think we're on the road in five, four, three, two, one. We're on the road. All right. Now it should just be a straight up shot this way. Oh, no, horribly wrong. We got to go this way. And then, yeah, we're just going to go straight up this hill. We're going to go up this way. You know why? Because this truck can. At least I hope it can. We're, we are going to find out, aren't we? Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did not realize that. I am basically sinking. <laughs> I almost rolled, a, rolled over again. Come on. I think we can just go straight up this way. Well, we'll try to winch on something. There we go. I think we finally got a solid tree. Oh, 
Something. Something just slowed us down. Uh, that's a that's a lot of deep mud for a side of a hill. I, I feel like I feel like we would have had a landslide by now. All right, so we gotta figure out how do I get over there? This house is in my way. And I'm guessing. I'm guessing I can't just uh, drive through it. Oh, wow. That, that's pretty impressive. Am I not supposed to be up here? <laughs> Alright, well, you know what? We'll just lower ourselves down. What is this? This is, this is the Old Faithful, so this is where we have to go to, uh, repair. So that's good to go. Now we can refuel. And boom. Why am I not surprised? We have to deliver this somewhere. All the way to this fuel. <laughs> Alright, we gotta go all the way back there again. And uh... Yeah, we can't change trucks. We've got... Let's repair this. Oh, did I say repair? I'm pretty sure I did. Let's... Repair, repair the Azov. <sighs> and... Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try to yank everything back. Although we are hurting for gas, so let's, uh... For fuel. We can steal all the gas out of it now, because it was full. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna attach. Let's head down the hill. We probably won't, uh, won't make it this episode. So we'll, we'll find a good spot to lead off, and then we'll, uh, We'll kind of sign off for the night. This is, uh... This probably isn't going to be easy. Let's see here. We gotta go. Oh man, we gotta go this way, but there's a giant. Yeah, you know, we're we're gonna stop right about there, I think. Oops. There we go. We're gonna stop right about there because I think that's where we're gonna make our decision on how we get out of here. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Yeah, that truck is now on its side. Hopefully it writes itself. Hopefully. Please write itself. Please, will it, will it, will it? Come on, write itself. Uh, well, you know what? It's gonna be a slow drag. Maybe we'll get lucky and it will write itself off the street. Nope. Nope. Maybe, maybe it will now. What? What is going on? Yeah, we're gonna go left. 
spawn right itself. Oh, it so wants to do it. It so wants to do it. Still hasn't done it yet. Well, I don't think this truck's gonna end up on its wheels again until we flip it over. Oh, that hurt. Come on. Oh, it so wanted to upright. Ugh. All right, you know what? We might have to, uh, we're going to leave it there. How far are we from a trailer store? <laughs> That's my million dollar question. Is there even a trailer store in this map or on this map? I don't think there is. Well, you know what? Yeah, we're going to call it good here. Um, let's go ahead and drop off this trailer. We're going to, uh, we're going to attempt to flip this truck over and then we will, uh, finish this mission in the next episode. Hopefully without tipping ourselves over. Oh, oh my god, that was so close. That was so close. That was insane. Um, that was amazing driving by my part. That's all I gotta say. Uh, let's drag this. Come on. I just need the wheel to catch. Thank you. Alright, so we will leave it here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you haven't already, please subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down and uh, tell me why. Still, to this day, nobody has actually told me why they gave me a thumbs down. So, I'm gonna say that... Um, the thumbs down button is broken. Maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.